Hi, my name. Hi, my name is Rich Velotis. I'm the lead pastor of New Life Fellowship Church in Queens, New York City, and the author of The Deeply Formed Life. The verse of the day is found in Isaiah 40, verse 31, which says, Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. The Bible is filled with paradox. And you really can't understand Christianity without understanding how deeply paradoxical it is. A paradox is a statement that on the surface seems to be contradictory, doesn't seem to make sense. But when you look beneath the surface, you see that there is some hidden wisdom available. Christianity is filled with paradoxes. Christianity says, if you want to be great, you must be the least. If you want to be first, you must be last. And in this text in Isaiah, there's another paradox before us. It says, those who wait on the Lord shall have their strength renewed. It's a paradox because I don't know about you, but when I have to wait, I do not find my strength being renewed. When I have to wait, I find myself exhausted. I find myself irritable. I do not find my strength renewed. When I'm waiting online in the grocery store, at the DMV, wherever, I do not find my strength renewed. But Isaiah says, those who wait on the Lord will find their strength renewed. And that's the promise that I want to offer you today. As you wait on God, as you slow your life down to be attentive to God's voice, as you wait on God to intervene on your behalf, there's something that becomes available to us, and that thing is strength. And so today, as you're waiting on God, hold on to this promise. What God does in you as you wait is just as important, perhaps more important than what you are waiting for. And so wait on the Lord because your strength is going to come.